Okay. Let's say you have a company and this is your company and your name is X. You are planning to change your name in I, right? There's a phase where you are planning and there's a phase where you change it. See, two different situations, two phases. Yeah. In the first phase, when you're planning to do it and you're sure a lot of things are already done, you are informing your customer about it. So you have a lot of customers. You're going to send them a letter, email or whatever. You're going to inform them about this. It's that simple. And here is when you change the definition. Yeah. So we're going to look at the letter and we're going to create a letter where you can inform the customer that you are changing your name. So this is how we're going to start. And first thing where we're going to start is let me make this bigger because I need to have the correct uh, front. I think it was 23. I'm not sure, but OK, let's start with the subject. This is what you put in the email or company name is changing right and then you can start with dear and then contact name customer name or whatever so this can, the reason why i'm putting contact is because it can be a customer but it can also be someone else but you need to inform them like a business relationship or something else but okay, I'm going to write it down and then we will continue to talk about it. Okay. Um, yeah. So here, you can start with important news. You're about to get the same great delivery service you are accustomed to on the new name. Mom. That's how you can start the letter. Yeah. And then you can tell them, okay. Um, let's say we call it um, old, um, old name. Most company can change the name, but most company will not change the name because they prefer to keep it like that because they invest a lot of money into marketing. So. If you are changing your name, there should be a good reason why you should do that. Okay. Yeah, let's say your product or services. And then since. Most companies are starting out, they do not need this. But if you have a company that is, uh, is now its name. Two. So technically, most company they have a good reason why they should change the name. And when you look at it, sometimes when someone creates a name in one country, it can have a weird definition in another country. So that's why I'm they will decide to change the name. So when you think about your company's name, also think about, okay, what kind of impact does the name have in other language? So here you can say our country name is changing. This is the, the, um, the subject. And this is what that you need to change in your company. And then you can tell you what it means for your customer, because this is a, a letter that's focused for your customer. And um, let's write down what, you, what it can mean for your customers so you can get indication what I mean. So technically, you, you just tell your customer this letter um, to the customer. You just tell the letter, okay, we are changing our name, but nothing will change for you. We will still deliver the same services so this means you will get the same on time delivery the same fast responsive service the same dedication to excellence you have come to rely on from the old name so you created a brand in the previous um, 
in a previous company and then you're trying to change your name and keep the same customer and you want the customer to believe in your brand so that's how you can put it like this and then yeah and this is why this is why it's important um let me write it down and then we will talk about it So here you will notice our name change soon on all our mailings packaging. Invoices and promotional materials. It's still the same company, just a new name. We would appreciate it if you would bring this announcement to the attention of your accounts payable department and direct them accordingly. So this is interesting because um, what you're saying is, okay, listen, customer, we, change, we just change your name. Everything will be the same. Can you inform your financial or financial department about this and all the people that's, um, that we need to communicate about this? Because when you change your name, it can have a huge impact on the customer. It depends what kind of customer you have but it's important to inform them about this so if you look at this you can put at the end okay remember we have an old name is now new name it's just something for them to remember and you put it in here and you then close it and like in every letter you can put whatever you want as a signature but just make sure you have a signature so i'm going to get the signature of the last letter and i copy and paste it there you can put whatever you want and here we have it we have a letter where you can inform your customer about the name change simple right so if you have question about it just go on discord and ask me directly you will find the link uh, on the stream and yeah see you guys next video i have a dream that's all i need i'll make it happen with some work and believe know what i want so i'll take it on i've made mistakes but mistakes make you strong let's break it down for a minute i want the crown i'm gonna get it you hear me loud man i'm winning yeah charlie scene will be great